We are back at Busch Gardens Tampa today. Today we are doing a lights on tour of Death Water Bayou Blood Moon. It is one of the haunted houses here at Hollow Scream. As you can see, I got my Hollow Scream stuff on. I'm super excited for this. It is a past member benefit, so each month Busch Gardens and SeaWorld give their past members benefits such as like $10 Bush Bucks or uh, free guest tickets, quick queues. But today we are getting a lights on tour of Death Water Bayou with our pass. So this is not open to any like just general admission guests. This is exclusively for pass members. But we're gonna be doing this today. I'm super excited to see what it looks like with the lights on because lights off, it's scary. But lights on, I can't wait to see all the small little details I've never seen before and get some good footage for you guys. So with that being said, we're gonna get right over into Death Water Bayou. So something new we have in the park is they put up a banner saying Iron Guazi is opening March of 2022. I cannot wait to ride this. We thought it was going to open this year, but they pushed it off. But you know what? We'll still get to ride it eventually. So I'm super excited for it. So right now we are standing right outside Death Water Bayou Blood Moon. We're going to get in there as soon as possible. But yes, we've made it over by Death Water Bayou Blood Moon. All right guys, so right now we are in the mausoleum room of the house. We were told that this is the only room where we can take photos and videos because they don't want to ruin any of the other you know, surprises in the house, which I fully understand. And I'm not gonna break those rules because I am not a rule breaker whatsoever. But we are currently in the mausoleum. This is kind of like the graveyard of the house. We have a werewolf right there, super scary. We also have another one back there that's kind of lit up with the lights that you'll see in the haunted house at night. But this is like, you know, the like, graveyard area of the house, which is really cool. They have so much that you, you know normally would not see during the um, nighttime when the lights are off because when, you're, when it's, lights are off, it's dark, you can't see anything. But like right now we're in this room. This is the only room where we can film though. So just wanted to get, let you guys know because you won't be able to see the rest of the house. If you guys do want to come see the rest of the house, come to Hollow Scream now through October 31st here at Busch Gardens Tampa and you can experience the full fright of Death Water Bayou Blood Moon. This right here is one of their animatronics, and you can see what it does if you come to Hollow Scream. So we just got done with the lights on tour at Death Water Bayou Blood Moon. That was super cool. Unfortunately, like I said before, we couldn't film in the whole house, but we got one area where we could and here's the outdoor area. So, I liked it, it was really cool. You, there's so much detail that you couldn't see, you know, during the daytime, I mean, nighttime, here during Howl's Green. And over here, there's a haunted Jeep. This is what you'll see when you're first coming in to the Deathwater Bayou through the queue. And as we said before, it is a past member exclusive here at Bush Gardens. So if you're not a past member, you can sign up for one of the VIP tours to see it. Other than that, if you're a past member, it's going on now till tomorrow. So since it's a hot day here in Florida, I got a refill on my drink bottle. You can get these in the park. I got the Iron Guazi one here today with me. Um, and they have Coke refill stations, and I always get the Raspberry Coke. I don't know if any of y'all have ever had that, but Raspberry Coke is really good. Um, it's like one of those machines where you can like pick the different flavor you want, and then you um, fill it up. And I get like 89 cent refills. It's super nice. But right now we're heading over to the train to do a little safari tour. Um, they're not running the full uh, loop today. Uh, they're doing some track work over on Stanleyville Station. So it's just a, a Serengeti tour at the moment. But we're he here over at the train getting ready to ride and seeing some animals. The bell now, all I need is we got the TT. Taking the point for the funny part. Thank 
So we just got off our safari tour on the Serengeti Express. The um, narrator was super funny. He was like a jungle cruise dude, like that kind of funny. So it was a really fun trip. We got to see a lot of animals such as zebras, giraffes, rhinos. It was really cool. If you ever guys ever come to Bush Gardens, I definitely recommend hopping on the Serengeti Express at least once during your visit. We are now walking into one of the scare zones here, the shortcut. This is one of my favorite ones here at Bush Gardens during Hollow Scream, but this is what it looks like during the daytime. This werewolf over here reminds me of something that we saw in Deathwater Bayou. Although Howl's Scream is not going on at the moment, there's still some scary cops in there. Now since we're on the topic of, you know, safari, animals, and animal tours, we're over here at Animal Connections. This is an area where you can get up close and personal with sloths and other small mammals and reptiles. And I think there's a couple birds in here as well that we might see. So with that being said, let's walk right over there and see what we can find. There is one of the sloths here at Animal Connections. And as you can see, there's people inside. That's because they're on an insider tour. They have many tours here at Bush Gardens that you can sign up for if you go to the Bush Gardens website. I will also put a link down below so you can see the tours they have available. It also looks like they have a flamingo tour going on right now. It looks like we have a sleepy sloth over here today. If there's one thing Bush Gardens has more than enough of, it's flamingos. We have some over here. And then we have some over in the bird gardens on the other side of the park.
Even though it is the middle of October, we are already seeing preparations for Christmas Town here at Bush Gardens. Santa's coming, guys. Christmas Town is one of their events here at Bush Gardens, and it's gonna be running November 12th through December 31st. And it's got a bunch of Christmas lights, uh, encounters with Santa. There's also ones I think with like Rudolph and friends. So. I'm super excited for that to come. That's coming here in about a month. Like, that's crazy. Like, it's starting November 12th, which, you know, is exactly a month away. And we haven't even hit Halloween yet, and we already got Christmas coming. But you know what? I'll take it. I can't wait to whip out my ugly Christmas sweater and celebrate the holidays here at Bush Gardens. If you're going to do one of the animal tours here at Bush Gardens, such as the flamingos that we saw, the sloths, they also have penguins, and they also have a safari tour. You can get them over here at the Serengeti Outpost. I've done a safari tour before, where you get to feed the giraffes. It's super fun. I definitely recommend doing one of the tours here at Bush Gardens on your next visit, because it's something that you'll remember for a lifetime. Uh, it's similar reinforcement. So, like I said, in Africa, they learn if they caught their prey, they did a good job here. If they catch that, three, two, one. Come on, cat. Come on, baby. Thanks. There you go. Woo! Going too slow? She's going too fast. Oh. Wow. <laughs> She's thought we were running it together. All right, that was Nave. It actually looks like she lost the lore. It may have come off partially. So um, typically looks like for her. Typically, just like when they like catch their prey, they take it to a nice shady spot to sit with it. Typically, she takes that feather lore to her spot and sits with it. And uh, right now she might have really, uh, names a little bit on the smaller side. She's more of a dainty little cheetah. Um, but we do uh, see that cheetahs don't have the same size as say lions or a group of hyenas have a social structure that's a little bit different than Nave. So that one is called the sunrise. We're over here at the giraffe so bar. It's one of the new okay. areas here it's in the Serengeti Overlook like restaurant. They also have an Oasis pizza over in that area. We might get something, we might not. We'll see. Alright, so I got the loaded hummus. That looks really good. It's got pita chips, we got the hummus, there's a pickle, looks like some olives. It looks tasty. Our team is a very busy team every day. However, this is probably my most favorite part. I get to stop doing the not so fun things. Uh, come out here and hang out with you guys. Tell you a little bit about our animals. And we are also gonna be doing a training session with our hippo. So if you've ever just been dying to see a hippo get fed, you are in the right place at the right time. Favorite treats waiting for him if he is a good participant. So we'll see how he does. So Moyo is one of three hippos we have here at Bush Garden. Big 25 years old, he's still fairly young. Hippos can easily get into the 40s, 50s, even the early 60s. Uh, the oldest one on record right now just turned 62, and he actually lives over in Homosassa, so right here in Florida. He said they're very territorial. They also have very large and pretty intimidating teeth. Uh, hippos have about 38 teeth total. Most of them are going to be flat molars because he is a strict herbivore. And here, we want to make sure he has a good Now, what we're going to be feeding him right now is a variety of things. Uh, like you said, he is in a diet mostly on the grassy coastal hay. He'll eat anywhere from about 50 to 150 pounds of food a day. Um, he'll eat about 60 pounds of that grass. So we just got done with the hippo encounter um, keeper talk. That was really cool. We got to see the hippo run, we got to see it get fed, and we got to see it eat a watermelon. That was super fun. 
We are now going to take a ride on Cheetah Hunt. Unfortunately, I did not bring my GoPro, but I'll put some footage in that I shot a couple weeks ago, and you guys can see what a ride on Cheetah Hunt looks like. So at the time that I'm shooting this video, Cheetah Hunt is going to be closing in about two days to go through an extensive repainting of the track, uh, just to make it look prettier, you know, upkeep. So it'll be down for the next about, you know, two months, I think until like December, like mid-December. So at the time of this video, if you want to get your last rides in, today is the last day to do it. But it'll be back December for your ride and enjoyment. Okay folks, that is going to do it from us here today at Busch Gardens Tampa. It was really nice going to do the uh, Death Wire Bayou Lights On Tour. That was super fun, seeing all the props that you normally don't see. As well as enjoying the animal encounters that the park has to offer, such as the cheetahs, the hippos, and the train ride. But with that being said, we're going to head home. Um, it was a nice quick visit here today here at Busch Gardens, but we hope to see you real soon.